Hi guys, I'm back. I uh, took a moment to dry my uh, paint paper that I just made. I took it off of its washi tape and uh, hey, you know this one I think wants to live this direction. So I think that's the way I'm going to draw this one. This one wants to live this direction. But this one wants to live the other way. So I'm going to do that. And I'm just going to add some uh, doodling, some patterns. I don't know what I'm going to put on here. I'm going to use, this is the pen I'm going to use. It is a water-based, water-resistant pen. It is not archival, which is okay. But I don't want to ruin my nibs on my good pens. So I'm going to use a cheap pen. And I think to start with, I'm going to just define my individual petals. I'm starting with the one I uh, did on the last video. And then if I have time to doodle on the other one, I will. Otherwise, I'll do that off screen. Just give these guys a little, little definition. So I was telling you I was on vacation on the last uh, video. If you didn't watch it, please stop this one. Go back and find out my motivation here. Um, we were on a cruise, went to Hawaii. That was awesome. It was a two-week cruise, which I've never done before. Um, I could totally live on a cruise ship absolutely 100% uh, were there some hiccups and some things that didn't go as as we planned of course there was there always is but you know that's life you don't you don't get perfection in life and you just roll with it right didn't ruin my vacation we had great fun But it wasn't perfect, and that's okay. Uh, the The staff that work on cruise ships are the nicest, most lovely people. And if you take the time to get to know them, they really are just wonderful people. They spend their whole uh, working time away from their homes, away from their families. Uh, many of them... Uh, can't afford you know it's expensive to to use the internet on on the ship and um, they don't get like free free Wi-Fi you know they have to still pay for their portion as well or they get a uh, free Wi-Fi when they get to port but when you're out on sea that many days you know they really appreciated if there was a, a guest who was willing to send messages to their family, that kind of thing. Um, whether they live in a, a country that is uh, like the Ukraine that is going through this particular difficulty or if they live somewhere else you know the the challenges in this world are not just between Russia and the Ukraine every every country every every person on that ship has a story to tell as to why they've they've chosen to leave home for so long and take a job 
that can be quite lonely at times. Um, But they are so happy. So many of them were so happy to, you know, have a job and to be productive and to be able to send money and things home to their families. I'm not too sure why I'm doing dots here, but that's what I feel like doing, so that's what's going on. Um, but yeah, we had a great time. We, um, we went to Honolulu. We went to Maui. I don't remember the name of the port in Maui. Um, we went to Kona and Hilo. When we were in Kona, we walked over to the um, condo where my husband and I spent our honeymoon. That was fun to find that. Um, when we were in Honolulu, we did go visit Pearl Harbor. That was a sobering thing, especially in light of the current situation in the Ukraine. Um, spent a couple hours at Waikiki Beach. Uh, to be honest, wasn't my favorite place. Too crowded. I'm not much of a lay on the beach kind of person anyways. And so we just kind of walked around a little bit. But it was just it was just jam packed with people. That was, that was the most crowded place we went. You would think that Pearl Harbor would have been, but it wasn't it near as crowded as Waikiki Beach. kids went snorkeling a couple of times. Uh, we took the bus in Hilo. I mean, just went to the public post office in, in Hilo. Uh, was it Hilo? Yeah, it was Hilo. Beautiful post office. Absolutely stunning. I've never been to a more beautiful post office before. Stunning building. I don't know if I have, oh, do I have my phone with me? I do have my phone with me. Let me see if I can find that picture of the post office. Uh, where is Hawaii? Go down here. Come on. Uh, Noah took a picture of it. We did uh, some duck stuff. Okay, let's see. Post office. Let me see if you can see this. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Let me turn off my light. That federal building, this, this right here, let me point it out without 
poking my phone. This right here, that's the window to the post office and you just stood in line on the outside of the federal building uh, to go to the post office. We needed to mail a package and um, but look how pretty that is. And there was a fountain in front and just across the street was this giant beautiful banyan tree. It was just really pretty. Like I said, one of the prettiest post offices I've ever seen. I think I want... I feel like for this one I want a... grid. Some kind of grid pattern that goes in this circular, maybe, um, maybe just doing this. The best thing, best thing about vacation was spending two weeks with people I love, you know, and not having anything in particular we have to do. Spending time just, you know, doing puzzles and, and going to trivia and sitting and watching shows and, and walking walking through the different towns and just spending time with people I love. That was the best part of this whole vacation. And not, not being on any kind of, I mean, we, yeah, we had the excursions, so we had a particular schedule for that, but you know what I mean? Not being busy like we are at home. Um, and except for our, our friends who happen to live in the same town as we do, the rest of the kids that we were with, they're kids. I call them kids. They're 30. They're in their 30s. Uh, they're, my, they're, they're, they're still kids. My nieces, nephews, son, uh, still kids in my head. But I don't get to see the kids that often. They don't live here with us. And just spending time with them, that was the best. And it was 100% do it again. too sure why I put this grid here. It was never my intent to have something drawn in the middle, but I did, and I think it'll be fine. It's just not what I had envisioned in my head when I thought of this drawing, which is okay. You know, sometimes you just got to do with the what the piece of art tells you it wants. And sometimes it wants something different than what you had in plan. Yeah, that's cool. Alright, I think I'm done. I think I'm done with this one. This one's going to live this direction. No, this one's living this direction. Yeah, it wants to live this way.
That's this one. This one's prank rupees. That one's done. I'm going to do the other one because I have time. And I don't know what I'm going to do on this one, but it's going to be similar yet not the same. I think this one... I know what I'm going to do. Still going to do these petals. But I think where they intersect, I'm going to do more like a neurographic thing and do um, some rounding. And that will make it look different. What else do you guys want to know? Ask me a question. Wish I knew what you wanted to know on this video. But if you have any questions about my vacation, um, please let me know in the comments below. And on a future video, I will answer those. I really don't know what to say. I've I've actually been home like two weeks already. Uh, at the time of filming this, and you know we've talked about it, talked about the vacation with people who didn't go. You know, friends and family back at home, and I don't really know what I want to say. I'm going to follow some of these lines. It's going to be more of a neurographic type, type drawing, I think. That's what she's telling me she wants to be. So I'm just kind of following around the different colors. like that I think and now I'm just gonna fill in and do a little rounding just like so
thought I was going to have a whole lot to say t about to you guys about our vacation, and I just I just don't know what to tell you. We had um, what was called the uh, carnivals. It was carnivals 50 birthday celebration, so they call it a celebration. We did a meet up with um, the Carnival Radiance outside of Ensenada. That was fun. They did a horn battle between the two ships. I've never. I've seen it on video before, but I've never actually experienced that. That was that was fun. I enjoyed that. My husband bought a silly hat. No, I take it back. My husband wanted to buy a silly hat, and I said that he didn't need the silly hat. We didn't need to waste our money on this silly hat, and my son bought it for him anyway. So now my husband's got this silly hat. It is the shape of a carnival whale tail funnel. If you guys are familiar with that. Uh, and it flaps. Oh, it sings music and it flaps. It's silly. Because they're having their celebration and their and their birthday thing, they had all sorts of all sorts of things to buy. That fiftieth birthday themed stuff. So of course we had to indulge. Uh, we probably wouldn't have bought near as much stuff as we did, except for we had so much onboard credit from. All those different uh, canceled cruises throughout the year that we actually had way more money to spend on board than than we would normally, and we just we just enjoyed ourselves with that. Went to steakhouse one night for dinner. Um, it was our anniversary. So um, we went to the steakhouse on our anniversary, 38 years, if anybody's asking. Um, the group we were with, the Facebook group we were with, uh, we did some events with them. Uh, one of them was a vow renewal. Um, that was fun. There was like 20 couples up on the upper deck. We thought it was going to be cold and rainy, but it turned out to be just a beautiful day. Some people went all out, wore wedding dresses and tuxedos. Other people like us were a little bit more casual. Our friends wanted to do it as well, so we uh, we were matching Hawaiian shirts, the four of us. Actually, in, a, in Hawaii, they say they don't call them Hawaiian shirts in Hawaii. They call them Aloha shirts. some of these and then I will be done. Uh, what else? What else can I tell you about? Anything particular? Um, because it was not only there were all sorts of things going on let me tell you on the ship. It, it was Carnival's 50th birthday celebration. It happened to be uh, Dr. Seuss's birthday uh, and that's one of the things that they do on board is for the kids. They have Dr. Seuss stuff. Um, 
and so we did a big birthday celebration for Dr. Seuss out on the deck. Uh, there was, um, since it was a journey's cruise, which means that um, it was a cruise that's more than more than seven days or more than ten days or something like that is is what they called journeys cruises so they do some things that are like throwback um, one of the things that they did which was a whole lot of fun was um, build your own ship thing where you compete with other uh, guests to build a craft um, out of whatever you have that you've brought you can't use you know you can't use ship stuff like you can't use a, a uh, life jacket or anything like that you can't involve the crew but uh, when but they told us about it while we were on the islands so we were able to while we were at the post office we picked up some packing tape that we could use to tape up our stuff we used a inflatable little kids rubber ducky that we found at the the ABC store which is the sort of the Hawaiian equivalent of the I would say more like a 7-eleven not like a dollar store but the, it, the one of our bus drivers said the the name of the stores is something else I mean it's the ABC store it means something else but the they always call it all blocks covered ABC because good gracious I kid you not that you could stand in one place and see two or three of them they were everywhere but we got our little kids rubber duck floaty and we used that as our base we used some one of the kids uh, swim flippers and some empty water bottles and an assortment of things uh, you know the and we, we we made a floating duck it was fun we had fun oh i like this i like how this one came out that one also is really cool um do i want things coming out no i think i'm gonna leave this one simple like this i like this one okay this one's going to live I thought it wanted to live that way that way that's the way I painted it this way but I almost feel like it wants to live this way I do think it wants to live this way so that's the way I'm going to sign it There's my one for Ukraine, and the other one is my praying for peace. And I will see you on another video. I don't know what I'm doing next. I haven't decided. It's a windy, wonderful, wacky day today, and um, I have the day off, so we'll see. But I need to, I think, charge up my microphone before I go any further. Don't want to lose that sound. Anyways, you guys have a great day. I will see you on some video doing something on the next time. Because since I don't have my calendar out here, I don't even know when you guys are going to see this. But anyways, I will see you later. You guys have a blessed day. Go out and do something nice for someone today. Make the world a better place by being kind and considerate to other people. And I'll see you later. Bye-bye.